know from, us. from the trolley, dear? <laughs> Just finger holes. <laughs> we'll take them up. <laughs> yeah, he has took the lot, hasn't he? <laughs> what have you done? I know. Go on, I'm going to sneeze. I'll say, oh, oh, it's gone. But it's gone. It's back! <laughs> <laughs> Hello everybody, welcome to Everything MTG. My name's Ash, today we're joined by Andy. Ella, welcome to the channel, and Dan Fritch, welcome also. Uh, today we've got two of the new Ixalan Commander Precon decks in the Mirfolk Hackbell and the Dinosaur Deck Pant Lazar, which Ella will be piloting. I'm on the Mirfolks. And uh, as part of our Commander, uh, what we call it, Commander Mashup, we'll call it, uh, we have our Wheel of Fortune, which both Dan and Andy are going to spin to see what Precon they'll be playing today. So, Dan, we'll let you go first. If you'd like to have a spin, let's see what you've got. Come on. Find me something good, not good. Not good. <laughs> Oh, the 10th Doctor! Give me some David Tennant. So we've got the 10th Doctor on board. Andy, take a spin. Let's see who, who else we've got. Which way around? I think it's a bogey. Uh, either or. Let's Whichever you fancy. Whichever seems more lucky. Not go. Not go. <laughs> <laughs> oh. Oh, a Nyctia Hand of Erebus. So we have got one of the uh, Commander Masters free guns. We'll have to see if, uh, yeah. if it is uh, more powerful than the others. Um, but personally, in my opinion, I think they just put the price of the Commander Masters and they're just normal free con decks. So yeah. let's, uh, let's find out. Uh, but yeah, we'll, uh, we'll just get shuffled up and uh, we'll join you ready for the start of the game. Uh, so we've resolved our mulligans. We've rolled to see you place first. Andy, you've won the roll. So uh, Andy's going to take us away with the Nyctia. Yeah, let's go. Cool, cool. I'll play a tap land. Lovely, oh, yeah. frozen village. Right, I'm going to start with the scariest movie magic an island and pass. Cool. <laughs> <laughs> I am going to play a fortified village. As I do, I'm going to reveal a forest. Can Ooh. confirm that is a forest. As it is, I pass turn. Nice, thank you. I'll draw my card. I will play a Vine Glimmer Snarl and I won't reveal a forest or an island, so enter tapped. <laughs> Pass the turn. Cool. Okay, I'll play. What plan do you play? A uh, Vine Glimmer Snarl. So I've got Necro Blossom and I believe I can reveal a swamp so it comes in untapped. Yep, yeah, that is definitely a swamp. Yep. And pass the turn. Lovely. Oh, yeah. Okie dokie, we're going to go with a mountain and then I'm going to start with the front. I'm going to suspend Ecstatic Beauty. Oh, it started. Oh, it begins. <laughs> um, so this one is, I exile top three cards in my library. You may play those cards at the end of the turn. Put four time cards on each of those cards that has suspend. It has suspend for itself. So there we go. For real. Okay, right. I can wait. <laughs> <laughs> I'm going to play Mountain for the turn and then I'm going to tap the one green, uh, tap for any colour for Far Seek. It's a sorcery. Search your library for a plains, island, swamp, or mountain card. Put it onto the battlefield, tap, then shuffle. I'm going to go and search for a plains, I think. It may take me a while. Yeah, so right. <laughs> go ahead. Yeah, I think there is a couple of the jewel lands in there, so like a plains forest or plains, ma or plains mountain type thing. That's exactly um, basic. So yeah, you oh, might yeah. yeah, yeah. Ooh, thank you for that. No worries. I'll uh, untap and draw, play a secluded courtyard, and I will name Mirfolk. Uh, I imagine it's going to be the best one in this deck. Uh, so it taps for any colour for Mirfolk um, or just colourless. Def and definitely Mirfolk, yeah. Oh, do we do we go slivers? No, 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 no. 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 <laughs> <laughs> And pass the turn. Cool, let's draw for turn. So I'll play Fortified Village, but I'll, and I'll reveal <laughs> the planes. No. So it comes in untapped. Cool, cool. So what I'm going to do is tap the two and then um, sacrifice this to get a forest. How about forest? Yeah, forest card. Onto battlefield tapped and I'll pass the turn. Cool, cool. That sound means that there has been a misplay. I'm Judge Ash, as you can tell from the hat. Let's take a look at what happened. Andy has activated the ability of Grozen Verge, but he has read it as only allowing him to search his library for a forest card, when in fact, it allows him to search for a forest card and a plains card. In this case, Andy is only a burden unto himself, so I don't care. Back to the game. Lovely, so it's on that upkeep take us to take his time counter off Ecstatic Beauty. Let's draw a card. I'm going to go with Sunbaked Canyon. Tapping for three, I'll pay myself one. Off the 
because I realised that does not actually tap forward Columbus at all before, did it? <laughs> um, and then it's going to, I'm going to be casting Idris, Soul of the TARDIS. Uh, she's got Vanishing 3. I don't remember what Vanishing does. She's got, oh yeah, she's got the uh, Time Counters on her. When she hit, I lose one on all keep. When she hits zero, she's at sacrifices. Well, she's got imprints when enters the battlefield, enters another target. Uh, I, I should not have played that, that's a silly thing to play because I've got exiled artifacts. Oh, it's a half to do it, is it? Of course. <laughs> <laughs> Take <Three>. two. <laughs> <laughs> Take two. Take two. Take two. Um, do that. We're playing casual. It's fine. Um, I would play the land for the turn. Um, I think. Enter the battlefield. No, 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 no. That's it, that's all I've got actually. I can't do anything else. Just, I'm, just, I'm just playing around for the turn, that's it. <laughs> <laughs> As you were. <laughs> okay, I'm going to play. A, oh, sorry. One tap. Right, playing Forest for the turn. Then I'm going to tap for uh, one green, one red, and two of any colour for a Raging Regisaur. I'm, I'm so <laughs> sorry if I've said that wrong. <laughs> Reggie? I think I'm that's right. Reggie. Uh, when it attacks, it deals one damage to any target. Uh, okay. That is all for me. Thank you. I draw a card. Play a command tower. And I will tap three for a Kadamas Reach. So search from library for two basic lands, one onto the battlefield, tap to one into my hand. Pass the turn. Why are you ramping? Yeah. <laughs> Merfolk don't need to ramp. <laughs> Oh, they don't need to, but they want to. <laughs> <laughs> cool, cool, cool. I will play a Command Tower for turn, and then I shall play Archon of Sun's Grace. So it's a 3 4 flying lifelink. Pegasus creatures I control have lifelink, so a constellation. Whenever an enchantment enters the battlefield under my control, creates a 2 2 white Pegasus creature taking with flying. That sounds so. objectively terrifying. Did you hear? Right. So I play the fire out for the turn, and then it's going to be I'm going to be tapping four and taking two life because there's two pain lands there. Ouchie, ouchie, um, for the War Doctor. Oh. So whenever one or more opponents fades out, and whenever one or more cards are put into exile from anywhere, hello, it's static beauty. Um, put a time counter on the War Doctor. Whenever it attacks, it deals damage equal to the number of time counters on it to any target. If a creature did damage this way, you would die. Exile it. Okay. Yes, John Hurt is here to hurt. <laughs> Um, well, that is a pass turn. Okay. Let's untap. I'm going to tap for one, two, three, four, and play Migration Path. It is a sorcery. Search your library for up to two basic land cards, put them onto the battlefield tapped, then shuffle. George, she's ramping. I am ramping. <sighs> Um, and then it will take me a while to find some basic lands, so I'm going to go to combat. Ash, I'm <laughs> His blocker can't kill you and it could die. <laughs> 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 True. Fine. I don't mind, I mean, I'm just going to gain the life back anyway. So. Yes, Ash, sorry, it's coming. <laughs> I'm trying to turn the body. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Target was already locked. Absolutely no mercy. <laughs> when it, that's, that's four. When it attacks, it does deal one damage to any target. Um, that includes face. I'll yeah. give you a poke to the face. Me, me, me a poke to the face. <laughs> yeah. Great. Uh, well, and then I'll go to find the answer. Thank you. Okie doke. A forest. And let's go one, two, three, four, a deep root waters. Uh, so whenever I cast a Mirfolk spell, I may create a one, one Mirfolk creature token with hexproof. Pass the turn. Cool, cool. It's just an enchantment. Okay, I'll play a swamp for turn. Do I do this? Oh, do I? Yeah, let's do it. Soul ring. Oh, <laughs> late soul ring. It's a late soul ring. And I'm playing this enchantment. It's for Ooh. two points. It's for six. So it's battle at the Hell Vault. For each player, exile up to one target, non-saga, non-land permanent that player controls <laughs> until um, this leaves the battlefield. <clears throat> so that's his first two um, abilities. Well, shit. So, um, <laughs> What's the third ability? Abyssin. Oh, yeah, oh, Abyssin snap! Token. <laughs> mm. so, what, so, so what you're saying, doing, what you're saying, basically, is the War Doctor 
a dinosaur and that enchantment are suddenly all going under disappear. It's underneath it, yeah. Right. I told us to leave the battlefield. <laughs> um, because I played on enchantment, I do get you a, do get a, you do get a, a Pegasus. Pegasus or Pegasi? <laughs> uh, yeah, I yeah. guess a Pegasus. Yeah. Multiple Pegasi. Yeah, and um, Pegasus is Sisters. Are you someone for three as well? Just for the yeah, I think Kettler's got to take three. I'll go in for three life, and I believe I'm probably carrying number one. I think especially, <laughs> especially yeah, what, three turns until Aversid. <sighs> okay. Past the turn. Lovely, right. Bottom tower, upkeep. Exact beauty is on one time counter. Draw a card for the turn. Uh, it's going to be, I'm going to play for my land for the turn. It's going to be a Temple of the False God. It's a happy temper of the false god, it works straight away. Um... <laughs> god, hang on, hang on a tick, I just looked at a card and it makes me a bit worried. <laughs> um... <laughs> I don't know if I should be worried or excited. You're looking at Andy, sir. <laughs> <laughs> It's gonna get funky. <laughs> it's gonna get funky. Because <laughs> I'm not a fan of this Aversin potentially. Oh, I've been, mean, yeah, me and you both. <laughs> yes, so I, I do have a way of getting rid of it and getting our stuff back. I like the sound of that. However, <laughs> no, so, however, it means there'll be more Aversins at the end. <laughs> <laughs> okay. so, hmm, I'll hold on. We've got a couple well, of turns yet. <laughs> Abyssin's a legendary, so it can't have too many first, so it should be um, okay. Unless I say later. later. <laughs> <laughs> I explain later. Um, in the meantime, <laughs> um, what have we got? One, two, three, four, five, six. Oh, six mana to play with. Uh, let's go with, let's go for a pay, my, pay myself for one again. These lands are going to kill me before I let anything else. That's uh, a sad for, way to go, I know, isn't it? For Rose Tyler. Um, and then I will I'll leave it, I'll just leave it where it was tied up for now. Uh, so whenever it's, she gets plus one plus one for each time counter on her. Um, and whenever Rose Tyler attacks, put a time counter on it for each spender card you own and each other permanent you control with a time counter on it. Um, so it doesn't really do anything more with the exact beauty there because that will kick off next turn. Um, but it might be fun in a bit. Last turn. <laughs> Um, I'm gonna tap for Horn Forest, or whatever, for a rampant growth. Search your library for a basic land card. <laughs> how would, how would rampant I don't know. <laughs> Good <laughs> lord! I'm gonna tap and shuffle. I don't think there's anything else I want to play because it's just gonna get. What well, does it exile artifacts, enchantments, and. It's non land, isn't it? Anything non saga, non land. Yeah. Non saga, non land. Yeah, so we'll just leave it at that then. I'm gonna search for a basic land. I'll just say, I'll take my land and leave. <laughs> I'll wait for everything to resolve. <laughs> oh, I'm going to drop an island down. Oh, I'm going to pay three. Uh, so use that. Three, four, a topography tracker, which when it enters the battlefield, I create a map token. Uh, map is one, tap it and sacrifice it, target creature I control explores, uh, which should reveal the top card of my library, put it into my hand if it's a land, otherwise put a 1-1 one, one counter on the creature. Yep. Uh, so I at least get another map when, uh, when I get that back the turn after next, after you get rid of it again. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> and it also says uh, if a creature you control would explore, instead it explores and then explores again. <laughs> nice! And I don't think I want to do anything else, so I'll pass the turn. <laughs> cool, alright. So on to that, and then I believe the next chapter Comes after draw step. After draw, yeah. yeah. Well, oh, actually, I, suppose, uh, I, I, I was thinking you were going to have to take that, but I guess you can just target the map token map. itself, can't you? Yeah, you can do. I can. I will. Okay. In, in, in response. <laughs> you think? <laughs> yeah. Well, I'm going to tap my... I'm going to just assume Rose, tight, yeah. Rose Tyler. She is a but, commander. So you can, yeah, choose to put her back, I suppose. Mm -hmm. She's going under there. <laughs> I'm just going to do my explore, so I reveal the top card in the library. It is not a land, so I get to put a 1-1 one, one counter on my creature. Um, it doesn't go to my hand, and then I explore again. If the creature I control to explore, it explores again, so it's yeah. the same card that's revealed, so you get another 1-1 one counter. Another one, one counter. Um, okay, I'll play a land for turn, which will be a planes. What to do? Oh, it's very aggressively, why not? <laughs> 
the raster of the endless web, so that is an enchantment triggering um, the Archon. More Pegasonic, Pegasus. Yeah. Oh, you yeah. boy. No, that's, that's the wrong, wrong franchise. <laughs> <laughs> so I'll have two of those. Then I'll move to attackers. So, um, three, four heading your way down and a two, two in the air at you. Understood. I uh, take two. two. Okay. Down to 34 for me. I'm trying to keep track of this. I don't know what the token here, <clears> so I'm stuck, so. Turns out I may have been wrong about the Commander Masters decks, I guess, which are... Uh... <laughs> <laughs> Turns out they're strong! Yeah. Who knew? Maybe it's uh, turned into a bit of a... Um... Oh, what's it called? Oh, Arch Enemy. Yeah. <laughs> yes! <laughs> and past turn. Right. Uh, so, one tap, upkeep. Time, last time turtle comes off the Saps of Beauty, it gets cast. So, I exile top three cards in my library. One, two, three. Sad. Oh. Right, so Ecstatic Beauty has been cast, and um, three cards are hit with Martha Jones, Crack in Time, and Fury Calm Snarl. Uh, I will play those cards end of turns. So I'm going to play the Fury Calm. Ugh, Fury Calm Snarl. <laughs> um, do I have a relevant the one in in? I don't get into that. Um, and then I've got this one here, Crack in Time. What don't we like the look of? Here. I just remember mm -hmm. something. What? Did you cast that? Technically, you cast it up, right? Yes, it's cast from exile. Yeah. Um, sorry, there's an ability on this I've got to declare. Casting on a sorcery. Oh, you get a token. Okay, one, two. Get a spooder. A spider. Fair enough. Um, what should we... What don't we like over here? Um, um, that bit. <laughs> <laughs> a bit annoyed this, bit, bit, after a bit annoyed this has come down because it says exile... Um, t uh, pre target may face target exile target creature opponent controls until they leave the battlefield. He's about, he's, oh, gonna, he's, about to get, he's about to get a token Abbott at some point. Yeah. <laughs> Which I wouldn't mind exiling. Um, so I guess uh, that's probably the worst screen yeah. in the 2-2 two, two flyers. Of the two, yeah. Um, yeah, we're going to get rid of... Um, it's uh, 1, 2, 3, 3, 4, 5. I'm losing because I'm losing Martha Jones. 5 minus 4, isn't it? Have you got the mana for that? White. Oh, I didn't see that. Yeah, it's... It, it, <laughs> More painful white. Um, so yeah, I'm gonna crack in time. So that is now in the graveyard. Arthur Jones eggs out. I can cancel play turn the turn, but I don't know. Um, crack in time is. Oh, oh, I went into Batfield actually, so yes. Yoink. That's under there, similar to the. Uh, Good work, Bridge. Bridge. No worries. <laughs> um, and because my pre combat, I'm being able to be pre combat mm. main phase, so that's fine, it's, it's done, done, done one for the turn. Uh, but that is all I've got. I was hoping to get something a bit nicer. It's Martha Jones is exiled forever. Sorry, Rob. Um, yeah, have fun. I've got a lot of words. Uh, came yes. Out of my mouth, but nothing really happened. Uh, <laughs> it, it, there's, there's, there's a lot of decisions to make based off okay. ecstatic beauty. It's a bit like, um, I didn't really hit what I wanted to hit. <laughs> Plan for the turn, game trial, um, I don't have an arsenal for us to reveal to you, so it's going to end tapped. And then... Is my stuff going to be exiled again now? Are we, no, are we past that? We're past that. Yeah. Okay, right, what we're going to do is then... We, do, we, we are going to get our stuff back, though. Yeah. yeah that's fine. Then he's going to get an Amazon, which yeah. is a bit... Uh, <laughs> sorry. That's okay, okay, we're going to go on... That's okay, I don't exile next turn, it's fine. One it is pre combat main phase, it's in Oh, oh awesome. So, I like it, I like it. So, you do get an Alison for a little bit. <laughs> <laughs> for a little bit. Descendants Pass, it's an enchantment. At the beginning of my upkeep, I reveal the top card of my library. If it's a creature that shares a creature type with a creature you control, you may cast it without paying its mana cost. If you don't cast it from the bottom of your library. And then going to. How much mana have I got there? I've got four, never mind. Uh, that's okay, we're going to go. One green and three of any colour. I'm going to sneeze. I says, oh, oh, it's gone. But it's, gone. <laughs> it's back! <laughs> <laughs> oh, I'm so sorry. I'm so sorry. I'm so gross. I felt like it was on the precipice. It was teasing me for ages. What's going to happen? He looked down and he came um, back. <laughs> Sorry, um, Curious Altasaur. So it's a dinosaur creature, vigilance and reach. Whenever a dinosaur I control deals combat damage to a player, I draw a card. Um, and that is my turn. 
Cool beans on top. Draw. It's probably worth getting those guys out. Blue, blue, and one for an Emperor Mihail II. It's a 3-3. Three, three. I can look at the top card of my library any time and I can cast Mirfolk from the top of my library. When I cast a Mirfolk, I can pay an extra colourless to get a 1-1 one, one Mirfolk creature token. And then I can go blue, green, and one for Varol of the Hulklade. So one four, I can pay green, blue, and tap him to double the number of each kind of counter on target artifact, creature, or land. Ooh. <laughs> um, and I don't think I've got any attacks on, do I? Oh, I do have, <laughs> there is an attack on, but I should probably uh, keep a blocker. <laughs> How much have uh, I taken? <laughs> no, it's, it's okay, Tom. I'm gonna I'm gonna save it for Andy for later. Oh, just <laughs> <laughs> uh, I will just have a peek at the top card of my library though because I can. And can I have a look too? I'm afraid not. I'll tell you what it is though. It's a path to exile. <laughs> <laughs> in the deck that's not playing one. Yeah. <laughs> Seems legit, poker face. Yeah. Yeah. I'll pass the turn. Cool art, so oh. that's on tap. I've got two of these. Yep. That trigger is already got Draw. Yep. Draw first, then that. And then I get an Abyssal. Then Hell Vault happens. We get all the stuff back, though. Yeah. Yay! Yay. <laughs> I don't know who's at who's. Guys, help yourself. Have a dinosaur. Just find my Abyssal. Abyssal. Find my Abyssal. Yep. Flying Vigilance Indestructible. Yeah, that's the one. Oh, she doesn't give everyone instructable as well. She's not, no, not no, as good as a proper Abyssin. Yeah. Oh, oh, I thought that's what it was. Uh, <laughs> I thought it was like a big Abyssin. token copy of Abyssin. Yeah, I was like, oh Christ. <laughs> no, I mean, still an 8 8 flying vigilance in the structure. Yes, yeah, uh, still, still, yeah. <laughs> oh, that's, uh, okay, okay, okay. She doesn't have haste though, but that's the good, that's the good thing. There's no haste on it. Yes. And it's not True slapping. That. We've got time. We've got time. Yeah. I'll take it all the time. Yeah. <laughs> So, I'm going to play my commander when it enters the battlefield. Or attacks, exile up to one target non aura enchantment from my graveyard, create a token copy of it. That's a token copy. A token, that's a copy of that card, except as a 3 3 zombie. So I'm going to. Yeah, it's 3 3 zombie, but with all the effects. Uh, yeah, yeah so I'm bringing <laughs> that back. Excellent. Hey, that's illegal! <laughs> <laughs> no! It's back! It just does that? Yeah. It enters the battlefield, it's attacks everyone like like non aura. Yeah, bit. sure. At least it's going to sacrifice itself. But here we go, here we, but here we go again. Yeah. That's a free free in the first chapter. So I get to exile things again. Okay, go for it. Yeah, you do. I've got a funny feeling my cracking time is about to get, get cracked in half. <laughs> yeah, because I have on that. Ta ra! <laughs> Um, what have you got, Ella? I've got a Descendant's Path, a Curious Artisan, or a Raging Regisaur. Do you have anything over each? Uh, yes. No. <laughs> Don't lie. I'll, I'll take the thing with Reach. <laughs> Thank you. And then Ash. Oh Christ, what, what is this nonsense? Got an explore doubler, uh, counter doubler, look at the top card of my library or get an extra mere folk. Mm -hmm. I'll take the... Is that for any creature? Uh, yeah, creature or artifact or land okay. as well. I'll take that as well. Hmm. Cool. So, something sickness. Something anything sickness. else from, a, from the trolley, dear? Anything <laughs> <laughs> else? <laughs> well, take the lot. <laughs> yeah, he has took the lot. Everything. <laughs> yeah. um, I'll play this Spirited Companion for turn, which gets me another Pegasus. Uh, when I enter battlefield, I do get to draw a card. So, draw a card, another Pegasus. Pegasus, and then. And then, my enchantment creatures have menace as well, I'm not that. Oh, lovely. lovely. <laughs> <laughs> Just spot me down. So that's why, that spider might be going places. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Sorry, Ellen, the spider's coming your <laughs> way. <laughs> so it's a 3 5 um, going your way, and then the two are Pegasus each. So. Yes. Down to 29. 32. Hey, so that's just your last. Yeah. Last turn. Righty then. Untap or keep draw. Okay, so the land for turn is a storm carpet toast. And it enters untap, could I do a two or more um 
land. Right. Do we have pieces of paper that we can utilise? <laughs> yes. <laughs> because <laughs> it's about to get screwy. Because <laughs> I'm not doing much else. <laughs> so, two colours. A white here and a blue here. Oh, only one more actually. It's going to be. I'm going to use this mountain. I didn't have to. These are the ones. That, these are oh, ones. sorry, I thought it was that. These are the ones. That, these are the ones that are hurt. I'm going to cast fractured identity to exile target on my permanent. Okay. Nice. Each player other than its controller gets a copy of it. <laughs> <laughs> okay. Oh damn. <laughs> Very really good. <laughs> that, that, that is perfect. <laughs> <laughs> There's going to be a lot going on, you're yeah. right. Wibbly wobbly toe, my bee! <laughs> Let's um, go! I guess everyone gets their stuff back and I'm going to lose something. Yep! You're going to use a lot. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, you are. <laughs> right, here we go. So literally, there you get first. Backlit hell, backlit hell, backlit hell. Just, it's, not, it's not glorious, <laughs> but <laughs> it'll do. It, 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 it's, it's a token representation. <laughs> Oh, the token representation of Battle of Hell, there's a 3 3 zombie. Oh, you put 3 3 in the corner, sorry. I'm going to write 3 3 so you know it's a zombie. Oh, it's, it's a 3 3 zombie, isn't it? Yes. Yeah, yeah. ETBs happen here first. This is entered, so it's going to exile something under it, which is going to be. Um, let's just get it all out of the way. Let's go rid of that. Yeah, sure does. Fizzle. She'll fizzle, she'll, she'll vanish, she doesn't exist anymore. Um, and then the Battle of Hell Vault kicks in. Which is for each player. Yep. For each player? Yeah, for each player. So. Well, exile up to one target. Alright, so I'm not going to exile my own stuff. So, Ella. Wait, hang on. So hang you on could you. take the, the tokens and stop <laughs> yeah. with Yeah! <laughs> so I'm going to exile that from you. <laughs> That's yeah. a good thought. Because they, they, they don't enter at the same time? Uh, they would, wouldn't they? Yeah, yeah actually, I guess. So they would be valid like, targets? Yeah, yeah. But then. But would we get the ETB still? By yes. which, and then it would be gone, so you get it straight back anyway? Yeah, you would. I think either way, it would <laughs> nothing would stay exiled, so that's we don't need to worry about it if you do take them. <laughs> Goddamn time lords. <laughs> <laughs> Shall we double check this? Um, well, I think, because even if we target anything, unless it's got an ETB, it's not going to matter, because they'll get it back anyway. So if you were to choose those. Well, I mean, because you exile it until it leaves the battlefield, but, then, but the, the idea is you, if it's exiled, but it doesn't need, by the time it's exiled, it's not there to leave the battlefield. Is it just exiled? Done. What have you done? I know. <laughs> you judge. Just a minute, I'll be right there. After the uh, rules check there, we've um, look at the wizard's website, we actually got yeah. it wrong. Yeah. Yeah, it is uh, clarified that if it's exiled before the any of the chapters are resolved, then you just don't get to exile anything. They don't stay exiled, they just not never get exiled. So, so sorry. <laughs> <laughs> There is that sound we all love. Now, if Dan was able to target the other copies, this would be a little more tricky to answer, but as it stands, he's not. Because if we read the card for each player, exile up to one target, non-saga, non-land permanent. The battle at the Hell Vault is indeed an enchantment saga, so it cannot target the other copies. Now, on this occasion, we're just gonna have to ride this one through, but we know for next time. The, the fun sponge, I just created <laughs> yeah. I created a headache. <laughs> Dan giveth, Dan taketh away. Exactly. <laughs> <laughs> um, right. But you still get yours. I still get mine. I still get yours. So I think it's. Yeah. I think that's Do hard. you even need a paper anymore? Why just take the card? <laughs> yeah. <laughs> <laughs> just kill some trees for no reason. I, know. <laughs> I thought it would be harder than that, honestly. Um, and then I. They came back on this turn and said, Do you want somebody to take this? Like, you're in the graveyard. That, that, you caused enough trouble today, lady. <laughs> so yeah. Is that now. Is that a creature? Or is, it, it, it's, it's a 3 3 zombie. It's a 3 3 zombie version, yes. But with those abilities. With those abilities yeah. on it. So it is, it is on it is on one. Um, so on next step, I can do it again if I wanted to. Um, I've got three of my life. Credit time's there. That's done. That's done. That's done. Um, there's not much else for me to do because I can't attack because they have summoning sickness. So I am going to pass the turn. I was hoping to wipe a bit more of his board, but we've got really the important part. Yeah, no, that, was, uh, that was good work, good work. Yeah, the, the thought was there. <laughs> right, okay. Oh, right. At the beginning of my upkeep, reveal the top 
Reveal the top card of my library. If it's a creature card that shares a creature type with a creature you control, dinosaur, you may cast it without paying its mana cost. Ooh, Dang. Ooh so, that could be tasty. Do I do that before I draw? Yes. Okay, right. We're going to reveal. It's a it's dinosaur. A dinosaur. Oh. It's a ritual raptor. Yeah. Value. Not in rage, <laughs> with yeah. a rage. We're going to do a damage, draw a card. Draw yeah. A card. I can play it with that. Well, yeah, yeah. without paying its mana cost. Do it. So there we go. That's nice. <laughs> nice. Uh, I'm going to draw for the turn. Okay, what are we going to do? I don't like. <laughs> you did. Now, that is, can I just check that is a creature? It is a creature. It's a, it is a 3 3 zombie. Okay, right. I'm going to tap four then in that case. One. Two, and we don't want to give him another three. Seven. <laughs> if I can't have another one, we're not. Understood. Six, seven, seven. 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 Oh, I mean, we needed it, but I was hoping it wouldn't hit my board. No, <laughs> sorry. <laughs> Warlock to Rose Tyler goes back to the command zone. Then I'm going to do some attacking. Oh. She's got a lot of dinosaurs there. Oh, I have. Those two have got some in sickness, so it's just these ones. I'm going to play. I'm not, I'm, not, I'm, not, I'm, not, I'm not like, you know, sort of trying to bend you to. I am yeah, on 52. Will. Will. Like, I would 50 never do <laughs> such a thing. <laughs> <laughs> oh, so it's not that much, though. It's going to be. Two from that, four from that, plus one damage to any target, so five, six, seven. Then things do trigger as well. Uh, what, what, what I might say, if you want to deal one damage to him, that's fine, or you can do one damage to your Riptor Raptor and draw a card. That's, that, that's how the deck works. Oh, that is a good idea. I, I do get a card draw off that as well. Why not two? <laughs> Yeah, it's all right then. Well. That is, um, oh, oh, this is a good day. <laughs> <laughs> okay. okay, so only six coming your way now. One sure. damage to the director. Um, it wasn't too bad. No. When it deals with so I'm drawing two oh, cards off that. Damage to oh, oh, yeah, so yeah, you draw two cards off that and a card off that, so you've got three cards for it. Because that's whenever a dinosaur, so it triggers for both of them, I believe. Oh, okay. Oh, <laughs> <laughs> That's gone well, that's a, that that's a turn. Very but, very uh, free creature, board, um, one sided board. Then I am going to also uh, play a land of the turn as well, because I haven't done that yet. Um, enters the battlefield. It's a, a canopy vista, it's a nice forest plane. Enters the battlefield tapped unless you control two or more basic lands, I do, so it's just going to chill there for a bit. That is the end of my turn. Let's untap, draw my card, play a forest. I think my turn's still going to be the same as I was planning to anyway, it's just for a lot less value now. Thank you, Ella. No, that's fair. I can't, the greater I good. can't argue with that. Uh, I play a Merfolk Sovereign, so it gives my other Merfolk creature I control plus one plus one, and I can tap it to make a Merfolk not be able to be blocked. And my Deep Root Waters triggers because I've played a Merfolk, so I create a 1 1 Merfolk with uh, Hexproof. And then I'll pay one, two, three, four, including the blue and the green, to bring out my commander, Pack Bowl of the Surging Soul. So it's a three, three, and being a combat on my turn, each mere folk I control explores. Sorry, that also triggers again. Um, and whenever Pack Bowl attacks, I can put a land card from my hand onto the battlefield if I don't draw a card. So I'm going to go to combat, and at the beginning of combat on my turn, each mere folk I control explores. So I'll start with the Merfolk Sovereign. So I reveal the top card of my library. It's a land, so it goes into my hand. Uh, for Hackball, it is not a land, so Hackball gets a 1-1 one -one counter. And then the same is going to happen for these two Merfolk as well, so they'll both get a 1-1 one -one counter. Hmm. Lovely. Um, what's that one on top there? Whenever a creature I control explores a land card, I can put a land from my hand onto the battlefield tapped. Oh. And whenever a creature I control explores a non-land card, put a 1-1 counter on Nikanzel, I believe that's pronounced. <laughs> and that is all I've got past the turn. Some synergies over there. Yeah. Moved a bit. Yeah, it was not a bad rebuild. Yeah. Little land for turn. It's not looking good on my side. 2, 4, 6, 8, 10. I'll bring my commander back out for 7. Six, seven, 
when it enters the battlefield, I get to exile another card and put it as a uh, exile another card onto the battlefield as a three-three zombie. Target non aura, non yeah aura enchantment. Okay. It's got to be the spider again. He's back. He's back. <coughs> and past the turn. It's a, it's a three three version. It's three three. Yeah. I have eight dice for this. I think you might take one. So one tap upkeep. I take, a, I take a vanishing counter off the cracking time. Oh, sorry, time counter off the cracking time. Um. Oh, begin a pre-combat main phase, exile target creature opponent controls until it enters the battlefield. Ooh, what do I have to look off? Um, I'm... Ooh. <laughs> 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 um, he's been punished enough! Yeah, that, that's fair. He's, uh, that, he's, he's not currently the, no. the big target. The, te the temptation to get rid of Waking Sun's avatar, well the problem is, the credit time disappears, it just comes yeah, back again and wipes the board again. Yeah. Um, it's not... Actually, I'm gonna, get, I'm gonna get rid of the descendant path. Yeah, yeah. That makes much more sense. <laughs> I'm gonna go under the cracking time for now. So you're not getting as many free dinosaurs as you wish. Here we go again. This one's another case of reading the card explains the card. So I'm gonna throw back to Dan for this one. Oh, begin a pre combat main phase. Exile target creature opponent controls until it is battle. That's right, Dan. At the beginning of your pre-combat main phase, exile target creature an opponent controls, which means it can't target an enchantment. Let's see if Dan notices later on. Um. <laughs> yeah, <laughs> sorry. Uh, round, oh, draw, draw, turn, that help. Okay. Um, Trends of all cock tower. So I can tap it for blue and I add, stick a time counter on it and remove 12 time counters on it, exile it, shuffle graveyard and hand of library, draw seven cards, and I can only do that if I've got a time ball. Um, I'm a fan of that. Oh, wait, what have we got? What do I want to cast in it? Doctor. Big things, big things, big things. <laughs> big horrible ominous things over there. Um it's going to be to each What are they all huge? <laughs> 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 That's what she said. <laughs> <laughs> I should have expected that, really, shouldn't I? <laughs> well, I'm going to have to play this because it's the only sort of thing I've got. Uh, two, three, four, five, six, seven. A lot of mana. For Jadooning Forces. The big lads. So they're, it's, they, they are an 8 8 with trample. Uh, no, no more than one piece can attack me each combat. <laughs> um, and it's got a spend that I've got to cut done earlier but it's just they, they uh, yeah but that is it that's all i've got for the turn go for it okay uh, and tap and tap oh god okay i'm gonna do land for the turn turn it's a moss wart bridge nice. it enters tapped however it has hideaway four so this land enters the battlefield, look at the top four cards in my library, exile one face down, then put the rest on the bottom in a random order. I'm going to pay one green mana um, and tap this. If you, you may play the exile card without paying its mana cost if you if creatures you control have total power 10 or greater. Mm -hmm. So it's tapped, so we're going to exile. Do I have to reveal them? No, no definitely no, don't. <clears throat> so I'm just going to pick four. So I put something really disgusting under there. Yeah. It's going to be dirty. Exiling that for now. Do I have to reveal the exiled card? No, it's face it face down. It's going to be a little cheeky surprise yeah. for you all later. Yeah. <laughs> okay, right. And by cheeky out. surprise, you mean like, oh my god, we're going to die. <laughs> <laughs> Do I get out my commander? Because I haven't done yet. I am going to get out my commander. So let's go. I so need a green, a red. And a white, and then two of any colour. So, so I'm four Pan Pantlaza Sun Favoured. He's a legendary creature dinosaur. Whenever he enters or whenever whenever Pantalaza, some favourite or another dinosaur enters the battlefield enters the battlefield under your control, you may discover X where X is that creature's toughness. 
do this only once each term. Discover, a mechanic I'm not familiar with, so bear with. Um, exile the top, from the top of your library cards until I exile a non-land card with that mana value or less. Cast it without paying its mana cost or put it in my hand. So the toughness is four. Yep. So I exile until you hit a uh, four. four. Do I have to reveal these? Yeah. yeah. You, you, okay. you show them. There we go. There you are. That's it. Straight in. Yeah. Straight in. Do you get that one? Three. <laughs> Which could be which could be worse for us all. Yeah. Uh, oh, it's a little mana rock, isn't it? Yeah, yeah. we may as well have it. Mana dog. Mana dog. Um, yeah. oh, wait, does it keep triggering? But not some favourite. Or another dinosaur enters the battlefield under your control. You may discover X where X is that creature's I'll oh, do this only once each turn. Yeah. 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 Thank God for that. that. Would be <laughs> yeah, it's got it's got the sad sentence. Yeah. Yeah. Only once each turn, Christ. Because yeah. it because now imagine the chain. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> and that's the way Kinson's avatar. Yeah. Yeah. The six by four, three, two, one. Yeah. <laughs> you know, mana. Have I got left? I've got four. Well, I've got five mana to play with. Um, I'm going to tap for three. Lovely. Uh, for Progenitor's Icon. When it enters the battlefield, I could choose a creature type. That's going to be Dinosaur. Um, and I can either tap it for one mana of any colour, or I can tap it in the next spell of the chosen type. You cast this turn, can be cast as though it had flash. Ooh. So I can tap it to flash things. Okay. Suddenly, gone. <laughs> <laughs> right. Then we're going to go to combat. Now, this has got summoning sickness down here. So. We're going to go and have a little poke about. You're looking quite big over there, Ash. Well, you've you just got to... <laughs> <laughs> the office, Is the office that what she yeah. said? <laughs> <laughs> she said... <laughs> uh, how big are yours? Four, four, and a three, three. Right, I'm gonna send. Right, I'm gonna send Waking Suns. You can only attack with one, is that right? Only oh, me, yeah, Dan. Dan with one, yeah. Oh, I can only attack you with one. <laughs> yes. oh, okay. Exactly. You can attack me with as many <laughs> dinosaurs as you want. Then. Yeah. <laughs> this is an eight eight. It's bigger than all anything she's got. So don't they get pumped up at all? No. Not at the minute. I haven't actually got anything pumping yet. Thank <laughs> uh, God for that. Uh, so you're gonna get a seven, seven. Big stompy boy. Uh, oh. There's only keywords, over there. no trample on it. No, I've got mine, get plus one, plus one from that as well, uh, just for your maths in. I'm just gonna, okay, I'm gonna send the Waking Sun's Avatar and Ripjaw Raptor both at Andy, and then I am going to also do that thing again where I'm, oh, that's only when that attacks. I'm just gonna do that for now. Um, whenever a dinosaur you control deals comment, no, she'll play draw a card. So you're gonna block. So oh, block take it. I'll take eleven. Oof. Oh, okay. I've been gaining lives. Yeah, <laughs> yeah, true. Yeah. You're, actually, you're actually pretty healthy. Yeah, yeah. that's a good point. And you get to forty cards. Yeah. Thank you very much for that. Um, and that is all. Okay, did I plan what I want to do? I think I did. I'm gonna see your Mosswalk Bridge and call with a Mosswalk Bridge in my own. <laughs> <laughs> so I look at the top four cards. Top Snap the library. <laughs> Uh, and it's just any, they don't have to be, uh... it's got to be that one. Oh, is it a sad four? Yeah. <laughs> uh, yeah, it wasn't the best. Put the rest on the bottom in a random order. Then, so we've got seven mana to play with. What do we want to do? We'll go green blue for a. Uh, Mikanzil, the one that was on top of my library. So whenever a creature I control explores a land card, I can put a land down. Um, whenever a creature I control, control, exp control explores a non-land card, he gets a one card for himself or herself. Uh, themselves. Yes. Be correct. Yeah, yeah. Apologise. <laughs> <laughs> Get another mere folk from that. <clears throat> I believe that's pronounced Merfolk. <laughs> like a mermaid. Probably right. I mean, I'm terrible at pronouncing <laughs> almost every magic card I ever see. So, <laughs> yeah. <laughs> um, so, yeah, we'll pay three for a Realm Walker. So, it's a shapeshifter. Mm -hmm. So, it does count as a mere folk. So, I get another one of those. If you look at the top card of your library, sorry. And yeah, so enter the battlefield, choose creature type, no folk. Um, I may look at the top card of my library anytime if I can cast creature spells off the chosen type from the top of my library. 
Have I? Oh, I have. You're brilliant sometimes, Ash. <laughs> <laughs> Slash very lucky. Uh, <laughs> I, uh, I managed to leave the right mana on top to be able to play it. So I'm going to tap two blue to play the top card of my library because it's a merfolk. Uh, it's master of the pearl trident. Other merfolk get plus one plus one and have island walk. Ooh. Oh, Which, oh uh, no! It's a shame that Andy doesn't have them, but <laughs> yeah, so, I, I'm quite happy. I've got the Julian Forces. So they only want to attack. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> so um, that goes up to three of those. Those three can't attack this turn. Uh, I can look at the top card of my library still, so I'm going to look at that. Then it's about to start oh, yeah, getting fun. <laughs> 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 yeah. So yeah. I am going to move to combat. Okay. Uh, which means at the beginning of combat on my turn, each merfolk I control explores. <laughs> Uh, and what was it? Whenever a Merfolk I control explores, uh, basically that's going to get a 1 1 counter each time because it's already not. Oh, uh, and that's uh, a card. And when a Merfolk I control explores, yeah, it's just a creature that controls that counts for itself as well. So we're going to get a 1 1 counter here, <laughs> a 1 1 counter here, a 1 1 counter here, and I'll do all of his extra ones afterwards. A uh, <laughs> 1 1 counter. Oh my Christ, what is this? A uh, 1 1 counter here. That's and they will mark out another three of these. I mean, it's yeah, very good, yeah. yeah. If it was all about the battlefield now, I'd be worried. I think. Um, <laughs> that many counters on it. Oh my god, there. Oh my god, there. So, yeah, then I've done it one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten times. So, this one gets an additional ten. <laughs> sure. So, it's going to have 11 one one counters on it. Oh, yeah, cool. <laughs> <laughs> And then these can't, and that one can't attack this turn because they all came in this turn. So I've got these that I can attack with. And they all have Island Walk. Uh, so. You could attack with one creature. Yeah. <laughs> Towards <laughs> me anyway. <laughs> so send the biggest thing. Which and they've all got plus two, plus two from these two as well, the two, uh, <laughs> two lords. <laughs> sure. Sure, 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 sure. sure. Uh, I think what I'm going to do. Is actually tap this guy so target yeah. Merfolk can't be blocked this turn, targeting Hackball. And then go into. Okay. Uh, oh, wait, that's right, I think I put those on the wrong one. It's this guy that should have had the. I was just saying, how did he get yeah. so big? Hackball <laughs> just had the two. Yeah. Uh, so one, two, three, four, five, six, seven. Oh, wait, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, ten. There's an extra ten on this one, so it's this one that's at 11. <laughs> Maybe that needs to make a, a Merf, a merf uh, unblockable. So I suspect you were going to attack someone with 11 power. It doesn't haste, does it? That one doesn't, no, no. Oh, God, so, uh, but no, I'm still going to do that because I'm going to send my 5 5 commander at you, Andy, unblockable. Sure thing. Uh, and then Fritch. Uh, oh, wait, sorry, plus 2 plus 2 as well, so 7. <laughs> sure thing. Cool. I'll uh, keep the commander damage there. Yeah, please. Okay, uh, and then Fritch, one of those coming at you, so 5-5, five, five, Island Walker. Um, Three, four. And I guess another 5-5 five, five at you, Andy. Wait, so I've got... So can that be blocked? Um, yeah, that one can be blocked. I'll block it with a 3-3. Three, three. Yeah, no problem. Crunch dead. And that's my turn. That's the turn. <laughs> well, untapped. Merfolk doing some things. Why are you on top of Oh, I don't know. I don't know your time, why? I don't know why. Because we've got a plan of merfolk. That was bad. Yeah. You try telling the doctor that. <laughs> cool. Play a uh, forest return. Play Sigil of the Empty Throne. So whenever I cast an enchantment, create a 4-4 white angel creature token with flying. And then I'll play an enchantment creature, so I do get a white angel, 4-4 white angel, which is not Avacyn. Panic! Cool. So this one I've just played, um, you can play additional lands in each turn, lands you control are every basic land type in addition mm -hmm. to the rubber types, it's pretty cool. And I will play an additional land, 
No cards in hand? No, I don't know. Oh, no? Oh, no. <laughs> no. Reckon time is creature. Yep. Oh, nice. <laughs> It's a bit late to rewind. We'll, I know. Just, we'll just have to play on as as it was. I, not. You get it back next. Don't worry. <laughs> yeah. oh, I think I should have it back now. <laughs> Wait for it. <laughs> Why do I think it's not my permanent? <laughs> um, what to do? Hmm. Hello, how many creatures do you have? Uh, on the board. Uh, tapped. I've got two, two tapped and a three. three uh, four, sorry, untapped. Hmm. Oh, no. <laughs> you can have one creature each time, it's fine. Four, four, coming your way. <sighs> I'm bringing this back onto the battlefield, which will be a three, three, and because it's a, well, it doesn't trigger because of that, but I do get a um, card draw from it. Yep. Pass of the turn. Right. What's that do? That's just a three, three at the moment. Yeah, Playing battlefield, draw a card. Oh, just uh, yeah. oh, keep. Yeah. Cracking time goes down to one. Oh, one time counter left on it. Um, pre pre when the eight dot type creature controls these a battlefield. <sighs> can't believe I'm, I can't believe I'm just I, I like it. Sorry, I've just read that. Yeah, it's gonna. It means he's got islands. Yes, it's <laughs> 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 oh, oh, it does. the druid? Yeah. 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 Okay. Oopsie. <laughs> Sorry to interrupt, I just thought that was relevant. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> Sorry, carry on. That's still terrifying. <laughs> yeah. Regardless, and I know I'm like sort of semi protected with the June enforcers, but it's still a bit like, oh god, what do I do? It's, I'm in a situation where either I just sit back and let you go do that, I just hope, and hope my June enforcers <laughs> lasts, or I bomb the board and put error ahead. <laughs> <laughs> I like the first option best. <laughs> I'm in no position at all to do anything, really. <laughs> and the Merfolk have always been cooperative with the Judo. <laughs> that's, that's well known. <laughs> that, that. <laughs> no, I mean, if, if, of course Chaos Fawn says, why not cause it again? Begin a uh, pre combat main phase. Right, I'm going to exile Waking Sun's avatar in the Kraken time. Oh, okay. okay I see, yeah, I see, I see what's, what's happening. happening. Yeah. And then you're into cast. <laughs> <laughs> Actually, I'm going to combat first because why not? Yeah. Um, because I know I'm going to lose the Junior Forces anyway. You, that's massive. Well, how big are your dino cells? 4-4. Uh, four, 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 four. No, not that big. I four, four, two, five, and 4-4. Four, four. Okay, well, I'm going to send the Junior Forces at yourself and 8-8 eight, eight with trample. You haven't been hit really much yeah, at all today, and yeah. he's got more than enough to just crunch it and kill it. Um, so then what I'm going to do is, is I'm going to do um, one for Trends Law. Oh, wait, oh, ooh, okay. So give it, give it a time counter. Uh, and another one, which is going to be... Do this. No, I'll do it back. I'll do it back. Uh, do the mismounted. I'm going to cast the coward half of this. So target creature can't block for this turn and she becomes a coward. She does that, blah, blah, blah. <clears throat> Pick oh, that angel. It doesn't matter. It's with the bit at the end that says time travel. <laughs> yes. Ding! <laughs> <laughs> Crack in time. Sacrifices. You get them back. <laughs> no, I may as well throw in that under the bus because it's not a dinosaur. You've got to fuck it. So, Wake Sun's Avatar enters. Bomb. Yeah. <laughs> You're keeping me busy today. Let's take a look at the card. Wakening Sun's avatar does indeed have an enter the battlefield ability, but there is also one very important line of text. If you cast it from your hand, destroy all non-dinosaur creatures. Now in this instance, it was not cast from a hand. It was cast from exile, which means that the enter the battlefield ability would not trigger. <laughs> and my hex proof doesn't do shit against that. Correct. <laughs> And my lands are no longer islands. <laughs> yes! You're welcome! Thank you. <laughs> I was only going to try and wipe Andy out and potentially you next time. <laughs> yes. I, I wonder! <laughs> I wonder why I bombed the ball. <laughs> um, then I'm going to... I'm actually going to finally cast in one, two, one, two, three, four, five, four... Tenth Doctor. Pass turn! <laughs> wow. Hello. Nice. Well, yes, yeah. <laughs> yes, it was. Remember my sacrifice. 
remember what I give up for this. <laughs> okay, so Descendant's Path is now back in the field under me. So in my upkeep, we've got the top of my library, it's a dinosaur, a castle that is mana cost. Uh, da -da 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 -da. Oh, it's a human shaman. He's not a dinosaur. I've got a human druid. Oh no, that died, sorry. Died. <laughs> yeah, we died, yeah, sorry, we died, yeah. Uh, put it at the bottom of my library. Okay, that's fine. I have arrived to cause chaos <laughs> and walked away. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> I broke the rule. I broke the rules by accident. I broke the rules by <laughs> I broke our brains by accident. <laughs> I completely forgot about what happened there as well. If you hadn't have done that, I was on for it. Fucking amazing turn. <laughs> <laughs> so fair play, fair play. Can I draw a card? Uh, you, no. I did for that, but I don't. Okay, sorry. No. Okay, right. Uh, I'm going to play a cliff top retreat to enter the tactic unless I can draw a manager page, which I do. Right, what are we going to do? What's my strategy here? I'm going to go to forest. Yeah. This <laughs> the, honestly, this jungle is just picking up all my cards and a flames for thrashing Bron to die. I can pay you one oh, no. to sacrifice and destroy a target <laughs> artifact enchantment. So I am actually going to get rid of that. You are. You are. <laughs> <laughs> Well, Mine gets one once and this gets four four angels. <laughs> <laughs> I feel like that went off. Fair. <laughs> they, or, oh, they, they, they basically they're saying that they're four four flying angels and they're one one extras. Is that one of you cast a Yeah. Oh. Yeah. Yeah, that, okay, I am going to change my mind. I'm going to go with that. <laughs> <laughs> my pleading worked for this. Uh, okay, now, uh, when. Da, 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 under my control, you discover. So that did enter the battlefield. Um, so I can discover X where it's toughness of four. Um, oh, yeah, you do. So exile tiles on the top of my library until I exile a non line card with mana value four or less. Nope. Um, no, nope. dear. Damn it. Nope. <laughs> nope. Oh, for fuck's sake. <laughs> Keep going. Oh, yeah, you just keep going until you hit one. Yeah, yeah. Until you hit four. Oh, oh, oh fire confidence. I can put That's it in nice. my hand, I think. Uh, or put it in hand, yeah. Or well, you could cast it if you want to do it. what you'd want to do. Mm, I don't think there's actually anything I really want to do with that, to be honest. Uh, you must have made a meal about it rather than Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Got any particular bother bothersome artifacts? I've got a soul ring. Oh, yeah, that feels a bit cruel. To me. <laughs> <laughs> I'm gonna cut pay one forest Ooh. and tap my moss walk bridge. See it what's hidden away. Um, it's an apex oh. artist sword. Oh. When it enters the battlefield, it fights up to one creature I don't control. <laughs> <laughs> For the poor doctor, she gets slapped with a dinosaur. <laughs> oh. Now, is that dealt damage at all? It, it, yeah. yeah, it does deal damage. Yeah. Okay. But if, if, if you fight, so you, you do get the rage. Yeah. Oh. Then you do, do damage, damage to each other. Yeah. Yeah. Uh, I try to shove the screwdriver off of his nose. Yeah. <laughs> Why would I get the rage and rage off it? Because you've been dealt damage. Oh, it's not fight, yeah. Yeah. What's in rage though? Yeah, I just have to draw a card. Yeah, dealt damage. Um, no, no, that's no, enraged yeah. is different. So, oh. uh, enraged just means when it's dealt damage, it has something. So, it fights oh, again. It fights again. Put that back. Oh, right. Okay. Is it a creature you don't draw, so it can't hit? Yeah. <laughs> so, that's fine. And how much have I got? Five. Prepare your bottom, people. It's going to hurt. We're about to get slapped. I'm just going to tap for five. Just five. Um, Two, three. Registrar, Alpha, all the dinosaurs you control have haste. Oh! When it enters the battlefield, That's a, a yeah. three, three dinosaur creature token is trample. Oh! Oh! Uh oh! Oh! Spaghettios! This is oh! It's, just, it's oh. getting good. It's getting good. Um. What? What? Left two was of yours. Thirty-two. Twenty. I don't want to kill anyone. Twenty-eight. <laughs> <laughs> I, I will spread it out. I'll spread don't it out. Play with don't, don't play with the food. <laughs> <laughs> okay, so all of you. Okay, I um, I don't want to be nasty. Be nasty. Right. <laughs> <laughs> That's what right, how much do. power have I got here? 
I want a couple of blockers, so that's... Do you need any blockers? <laughs> yeah, unless we've got hasty bits. Yeah. Yeah. Oh yeah. Oh, oh, yeah. yeah. <laughs> <laughs> You're in quite a nice position. Yeah. Okay, right. I'm going to try and do it equally as possible then. I'm going to send... Um, let's keep that one back because it's got reach. Just, just I, mean, can equally send ten I think I'm going to try and ten, send now, ten at yeah. each of you. So, ten at you. I'm going to do ten... At, oh, wait a minute. Who's on the biggest line? Yeah, yeah, it's me. <laughs> I'm going to do 10 over here and 8 here. Okay. Cool. <laughs> <laughs> 22. 18. 12. <laughs> so. Oh, wait a minute, sorry. When this attacks, it deals one damage to any target. So sorry, have another one for nine. Oh, do you want to draw a card? <laughs> I was going to say, you're about to draw a lot of cards. I think you've still got yeah, yeah, whenever, whenever a dinosaur. Yeah. Whenever a dinosaur. Whenever a dinosaur, you control yeah. does damage. <laughs> you should need the extra rage trigger, Christ. So, Don't one, need that. Two, three, four, five. <laughs> oh, wait, no, that's, oh yeah, that's right. So oh, I have to do some discard, didn't I? That was a that was a pick your death at, for me, basically. <laughs> Murder called dinosaur. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> Dinosaur's probably going to be quicker. Yeah. <laughs> um, that does, oh, that is going to end my turn. I will discard some cards while you're... <laughs> it's quite um, a turn. What's that, 36 damage? Yeah. Yeah. Something like that. Big swings. <laughs> Big swings. Yeah. Fresh down to 22, you're on 18. What number? 18. Yeah. 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 That's all you've got. <laughs> <laughs> I'll untap and draw a card. Top deck and board wipes now, aren't we? Pretty much. I don't know what board wipes are uh, uh, Right, I think it's got to be done. I didn't actually want to do it this turn, but... Oh, here we go. We're going to cast this to return each creature without a 1-1 counter on it to its owner's hand. Again, really? Okay. Let's take a look at what we've got. Ash has activated the ability of Moss Ward Bridge, which says you may play the Exiled card without paying its mana cost if creatures you control have total power 10 or greater. Now, Ash, I don't know how good at maths you are, but I'm sure you can count to 10, and this ain't adding up to me. <laughs> Wave oh. goodbye. <laughs> Um, oh, wait, okay. But yeah, you'll discard first before that happens. Yeah. So yeah, uh, I'll let you've got plenty yes. of time. <laughs> board wipe back to her hand. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> but it does mean that that's coming back at some point. <laughs> yeah. um, oh no, 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 no. Wants 20 counters, right? Yeah, I'm going to play Simic Ascendancy. So you can pay three to put one one counter on a creature. If you have one or more one one counters put on a creature I control, put that many uh, growth counters on Simic Ascendancy. And when it's if it's got 20 or more counters on it, I'll win the game. We've got a uh, alternate win con. Didn't actually know that was in this deck. Uh, makes uh, sense. Yeah, I don't yeah, have to absolutely. discard these till my, the end of my next turn, do I? No. That's all. So you can cast what you can. That's uh, I'm then I'm going good. to play a Cold Eyed Silky, which gets me another one of those. It's a 1 1 Island Walk. Um, whenever it deals combat damage to a player, I'll draw that many cards. Pass the turn. <clears throat> Big Andy, God. <laughs> <laughs> Got enough cards there. <laughs> okay, okay, okay. Sorry, Ash. No! <laughs> <laughs> Do it! Do it! <laughs> Four, five, Doomsquake Giants, when it enters the battlefield, oh, creature zero pen control gets minus one, minus one. <laughs> That'll do it. Yep. <laughs> Tight. So I wouldn't want to be a creature in anyone's hand at the moment, just see how like, every time a creature goes down, it just got me in there. Pass the turn. Right. You know. Ugh. We've got to be running out of board wipes now. Sure. <laughs> <laughs> well, I'll say that. I know we know Ella's got one in there. Yeah. <laughs> do it. <laughs> oh god, yeah, she just does have a board wipe in her hand, I don't like it. Uh, Land for two is going to be an ominous symmetry. Um, I've got two cards in hand, that's ridiculous. Um, am I just recasting? I think I am. Um, three, four, five, six, seven. Bringing out Mr. Tendon once again. You don't want to use your <laughs> no, <laughs> absolutely not. Um, what I'm going to do is I'm, I'm going to be using the later to, to, to draw cards. Because <laughs> they have the thing, pay one sacrifice to draw a card. Yes, please. Um, but I don't want to be casting that many times. But that is all I have. Because... Ow. 
Mana taxed. Ooh. Yes, <laughs> I've been taxed at the wazoo. Right, let's do the Descendants Path. I don't actually have any creatures on the board. So it won't, it won't work? Well, no. it, 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 you still do it, I think. Yeah, I do it. If it's, a, if it's a creature, yeah, just don't put it at the bottom of my library. I am going to... Have some fun. I am. <laughs> let's go. Uh, red. Green. And three of any colour. Four. Registrar Alpha again. So all the dinosaurs I control have haste. Nice. And then nice we're going to go... Pretty like Ashley's top top. I haven't played it. Yeah. I've got a fog. I've got a fog. It's really plays Berserk instead. It's, oh, what? <laughs> I've done this wrong. I'm so sorry. And I'm going to go two red. Oh no, I just color. saw. You know it. I just saw what card it was in the hand. Be prepared, boys. Two red. Tarny? It is an Atari. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> it's an Atari Primal Storm. Oh, and he's got haste. <laughs> oh, sorry. When this entered the battlefield, I get a little token dinosaur. And yep, it's, it's, got, it's, got, it's, got, that, it's got magic H word. Um, just like that. When it attacks, we reveal top cards of our libraries and she casts them for free. Um, oh, Pathwork Silent. Oh, don't hang it. Good shout. Uh, so that's a land, isn't it? Is yeah. it game life path? No, you're getting like, you get a yeah. basic land, but not a basic land. land. No, it's swords, it's game, isn't it? Yeah. Okay. Good shout. Yeah, yeah. That was um, a fantastic move. I am, however, going to play my land. You're now probably going to get a Grimsor Alpha to the base. Yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> no, so Actually, it's, 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 it's my giant box. It. Oh, mm. that's fine. Uh, what do, do I a basic land. You get a land from the um, library. Yeah, it's yeah. It's part of yeah. Yeah, I've got a land there, just saying that. Oh, oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> if you want to yeah, do it, I mean, yeah, don't let me dictate fine. if you want to play or... <laughs> um, you've got, no, who's got the biggest line? Oh, you've both got uh, that. Still me. Sorry, Ash. And I've not got anything yet. No worries. Three coming my way. 19. Oh, well, mere mortals. <laughs> and that my is turn. my turn. Brutal, thank you. Oh, I need to discard that. Oh, you do. You've got a lot of cards to discard. <laughs> <laughs> so I've got a path of good, good. Oh, I've got a lot on, if I'm honest. Good. <laughs> I like that. How many cards in hand? Just one. Oh, excellent. Yeah. Uh, and... Ella's got a full grip, though. Don't, don't, now I need to deal with Ella. <laughs> I'm going to have to pass the turn. There's not a lot I can do. Oh, I can't play my commander, but I don't think oh, I want sorry, to. That's why I was 19. Uh, yeah, I could play my commander, but, you, but I can't afford hand. commander tax. I know, but I need to play my commander. It might cost nine. <laughs> oh, you could maybe cost more. That's the turn, Andy. Okay, well, I know what I'm doing. You know, I, I have played before. Yeah, you're all right. <laughs> Good. <laughs> I also made a misplay. Yep. <laughs> oh no, what did you do? The Mosswall Bridge. Yeah. Uh, I forgot to read the second bit of the text that says. If creatures you control have total mana power ten or greater, uh, uh, total power ten or greater, I can't remember at the time. I think it was after the board wipe, so I don't think I did. So I don't think I should have returned all of Ella's dinosaurs to her hand. What <laughs> <laughs> did the look? The look. <laughs> I'm sorry. I'm not angry. <laughs> just I'm just disappointed. <laughs> Okay, so I'll play. She's accidentally had two people bending the rules against her. Yeah. <laughs> but still, but she's still on top. Yeah, right. By a while. <laughs> yeah. uh, Starfield mix. So, Ooh. beginning of my upkeep, I can return target enchantment card from graveyard to the battlefield. Um, don't think it matters, but no. I did play an enchantment, so yes. the creatures get minus one, minus one. It doesn't. <laughs> oh, sir. <laughs> Fair enough. Okay, 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 okay. What can I find? I don't need this right now. Deserted beach for the turn. Right then. Okay. So we're gonna go with one. Give it a time counter. One, two, three, four. For Donna Noble. So my soul bonded to the tenth doctor. So whenever Donna or a creature is paired with uh, is dealt damage, Donna deals that much damage to target opponent. Okay. Right. That will conclude the turn. 
Um, I was doing it. No, no, no. Well, what are we doing this time? <laughs> um, Ash, have have the tenth doctor. I'll um, take it. So, so whenever four, three, three. Uh, look at your tap. Uh, exile the top card. Uh, exile cards from the top of your library until you exile a non-land card. Put three time cards on it. Begin to spend. A non-land card. Out of time. What does that do? Uh, when I have time, I the battlefield, untap all creatures, and those creatures phase out until, them, until it leaves the battlefield. Put time counter on it for each uh, creature that phase out this way. That's it. I don't think we've got three turns left. Well, no, you might not. Why not? Verdant Sun's Avatar. Okay. Two green. Three. No, one, two, three, four. Buy for a ra rampaging brontodon. It's a 7 7 with trample. Whenever uh, a rampaging brontodon attacks, it gets 1 1 until the end of turn for each land I control. Oh, Christ, oh, it's got haste. No. Oh, it's got, oh. Haste. It's got trample. Well. I'll gain another 7. Oh, no. And I've got 13 lands. Oh, suddenly, guys, <laughs> So, 13 land. It's a 2020. <laughs> it is a 2020. It is a 2020. It is a, it is, it is a death for Ash. It is a, you, you, I'm okay. You're okay. I, sure. I can't. Uh, Whoever you think is the biggest threat. Kill the host. <laughs> <laughs> right, Andy 20's calling at you. Oh, block. <sighs> it got trampled, so. Uh, so I'll block six with it, so I'll take. Right. Fourteen. I'm going to send five at you. Cool. And then Dan, I'm going to send four at the four four at you. Four, a four four. A four four. Well, I will block it with Don and Nova. <laughs> she will die though. And I'll I'll deal four damage straight to your face. <laughs> 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 So down to four. That is all. Okay, I'll draw a card. Huh? Damn. Oh, I don't um, think I did my own descendants path, you know. Oh, well. Oh. <laughs> it's too far gone now. <laughs> yeah. That's fair, I would let you have it, especially because uh, I've cheated you out of some yeah. dinosaurs already this <laughs> game. Um, right, let's be one, two, three, four, five, and six. It's a lot of mana. Four. Oh, oh, okay. Well, <laughs> <laughs> uh, oh, oh, and get a mere folk with her. Uh, also play a swift foot boot. I'm not going to manage to attach it yet. I'll then go to combat. So this triggers. I'll do this one first. So reveal to card. It's a land. So it goes to my hand. Then for hackball. It's a non-land. So a one-one counter. Um, whenever I put one-one counter on something, that gets a counter as well. One step closer to winning the game. <laughs> Only 19 to go. <laughs> and that is me done. Pass the turn. All on tap. Um, begin my upkeep, I can return a target. Okay, land as well, that'd be. Enchantment. You can actually equip it to uh, your uh, swift. Oh, yeah, yeah go on then, thank so you. Yeah. You could have killed it. Uh, is that four to damage or anything? Oh, it just gives it haste, doesn't it, actually? Uh, What's uh, the power on that? Because you could actually kill me. Yeah, I could, but I need it as a blocker to survive, so I don't think I will. Well, I'll, 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 I'll leave that to Ella. Sure. Um, upkeep, so I get to return target enchantment card from Graveyard's Battlefield. This guy's coming back. Yep. I think going to get minus one, minus one. Bye 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 my folk. And I'll draw for turn. Draw for turn, draw for turn. I'm going to play this, this will cost me nine. Ooh. I know. Um, so that's an enchantment, so another minus one, minus one, so things got two minus so two, I don't know if this matters. No, I don't think so, so far. So it's five, six, seven, eight, nine, and I return, I get to return an enchantment to the battlefield, so minus three. Maybe three so far, it's on yeah. four, so you can get another one. That's all I can do. On Andy's end step. Ooh. We've got a choice here. What do we want gone off Ellen's board, creatures wise? Creature wise. I think 
Yeah, Probably the big chunky the boy, isn't it? Yeah, that's the chunky bastard. We don't want that to be staying. Stay so we go one, two, three, four, five. Painting myself a one. To tap this and exile it. To shuffle the brother's done back in your valley. Off he drops. Off he drops. That's on, off on your end step. Cool. Now your actual go. Now my actual go. I bet the dinosaur finds its way back to the top. <laughs> <laughs> I wish I was that skilled. <laughs> Yeah, I'm just hit it off that next time. Yeah. Right? <laughs> 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 Pick myself to the two, would it might be worth it? Do it. Yeah. If you want. Ten. Ten. <laughs> so I'll go down to eight for it. Fuck it. Three. <laughs> two <laughs> of which is painful. Uh, for Civilized Youth Day. When it's a battlefield. Reveal cards from the top of my library to the reveal a non man card with mana value 3 or greater. Uh, Aid up the card, put 3 cat time cards on it if it doesn't have to spend a gate to spend, etc. Um, nope, not 3. Land. Inspiring Freaks, that's when they get, when they get um, sent into suspension. So it says draw 2 cards, exile it with 3 time cards on it. Um, but it has to spend itself. I think it just constantly recasts itself. I'm then going to 1, 2, 3, 4, 1, 2, 4, 5, 6, 7, the time count for this thing, to activate the 10th Doctor's ability. We're going time and wine, boys. It's time it all. So, okay, time travel is it seven times? Is it? Or th travel, three times. travel three times, it costs seven to do it. Oh, yeah, that was it. <laughs> um, so, I'm going to do this. Uh, and so, 5, 6, 7, 8. So, this now has eight time counters on it. And these are going to have none. So we are casting out of time, which is when it enters the battlefield, untap all creatures, um, then those creatures phase out. So they do not exist. Um, and they phase out until out of time enters the battlefield. Put a time counter on out of time for each creature phased out this way. Three, one, one, so four, Three. five, six, seven, eight, nine. Nine time counters. What happens to tokens when they phase out? They they do still exist. Yeah, tokens okay. and then anything attached to them as well is stay attached with yeah. phasing out. Bing. They are all phased out. I then cast Inspiring Refrain to draw two cards. One, two. Um, and then it exiles itself again with three time counters on it. And then the land for the turn is going to be a prairie stream. <laughs> Past turn, right. That's gone. <laughs> we live. New creatures coming in aren't phased. Nope. Out, are they? No. Okay, okay. Uh, I will remember to do this. So we'll keep the other. Oh, I don't control. Uh, if they're phased out, do I still control? Nope. They, 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 they are treated like they don't exist. Mm. Oh, well. Okay, right, draw a card for the turn. Okay, let's have a look. I'm just going to pay one, two, three, four, four, uh, Curious Altasaur. And then I'm going to go uh, one, two, three, uh, four for a Rip Jaw Raptor. Three, four, five. Let's just cross it. Yep. For Xenagos, God of Rebels. Ooh. He's indestructible. He's a legendary enchantment creature. As long as my devotion to red and green is less than seven, he isn't a creature. Uh, so he's not a creature yet. I don't think one, two, three, four, five, six. No, he's not. No, you can. Oh, God. Uh, however, at the beginning of combat of my turn, another target creature I control gains haste and gets the plus X plus X until end of turn where X is that creature's power. There's that bloody H word again. So. Haste. Um, <laughs> That's why I cracked that out of time to get rid of it. Yeah. <laughs> now yeah. she's got another source. I know, I know. Sorry. Wow. Uh, so the Ripjaw Raptor is going to gain haste and it gets plus X plus X uh, where that is that creature's power. So it's uh, an 8-9. <laughs> Um, and I'm going to swing it at... Yeah, he eight, dies, we four. get all of our stuff back. Just oh, like that. that is Ooh. true. That is so true. It makes sense to kill me off. But... 
Do I have it's mostly your stuff that's gone to me. I've only got one creature oh, yeah. gone. <laughs> How much did you have though? Three. Oh, you had quite a few, actually. Oh, yeah. <laughs> I've got my stuff back though. Done. Yep. The fact, that, the fact that you just did the Star Wars <laughs> <laughs> The Star Wars appearing watch to a Doctor Who deck. How very fair. <laughs> right, I unceremoniously have trampled on my the, the, the dino. Right. So, I do get all my things back now. Is, there, uh, yeah. are you, is there any other attacks? No, it was only no, that one that has it. Yes. So. Oh, yeah. Do you still get ETBs when things fade back in? No. So no, I'll, I'll, I'll remember. the end of my turn, Ash. All right. Let's see if we can find any answers to that. At least we can do that. So, pay two for a Deep Root Elite. So, whenever another Mirfolk enters the battlefield under my control, I can put a 1 1 counter on a Mirfolk I control, which triggers that, which means then I can put a 1 1 counter on him. Trigger on that as well. Uh, oh, yeah, thank you. Trigger on that. Road to 20 counters. <laughs> um, okay, then I'm going to. Go to combat, uh, which triggers Hackbell. Uh, so I'll do this one first. Uh, so yeah, they're all going to get an extra one-one counter. So that's one. That one goes to two. That one goes to two. And that one gets one. That goes up to five. Uh, I'll then pay three to play Inspiring Call. Draw a card for each creature I control with a one-one counter on it, and those creatures gain indestructible till end of turn. So one, two, three. What have we got left? Five mana. Um, probably worth getting that down anyway. So, uh, oh, actually, I'm in combat currently, aren't I? So, let's just see if I want to do any attacking. I'm on four health, but I leave myself open. <laughs> yeah, have you got that? Uh, yeah, no attacks. So, then I'll go one, two, three for second main to play Evolution Sage. So, it's land four, proliferate. Uh, I get another Murphy. Oh no, it's not a Murphy, so I don't get another Murphy. Um, that's me done. Pass the turn. Mm. Indeed. So I untap up keep. I get to return a enchantment onto the battlefield. I've only got one enchantment. So it's a 2 4. Um, play. Yeah, Spain's get minus 1, minus 1. Currently safe. So you're fine. Okay. So I'll draw for turn now. Hmm. Oh, hang on. As long as you control five or more enchantment, each of the non more enchantments you control is a creature in addition to its other types and has base power equal to its mana cost. So that's now a creature. <laughs> you can probably die. Here we go. I'll play an enchantment. So. Things get minus one, minus one again. Well, that's each other, so that doesn't count. Itself. Oh, does it not count? Yeah. Okay, well, there's another enchantment, so minus one, minus one again. Yeah, that kills that one off. And I don't think one. that's too toughness, either. Mm. I know. <laughs> <laughs> I was hoping to kill something off. Nine is with Sorry, the big books, like, no. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. uh, you can do it again, you get rid of at least one. <laughs> um, but I can play a land, which bounces another land to my hand. Um, so I get a landfall trigger. Put one more cast on each creature you control on each creature. That might be helpful. I'll do that. Each of my creature gets plus one plus one and vigilance till the end of the turn. How many blockers do you have? Uh, one, two, three, four, five. I've got two. Oh no, that's not a creature yet, sorry. So four. I think, if, unless anyone's got any counter spells or anything, I think I can kill you both next turn. <laughs> <laughs> no pressure. <laughs> oh yeah, you've still got the uh, Sun's Avatar. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. And I've got, I think I've got enough power, especially oh. with coming in the haste to you know take what? you out. If I had any sense and had remembered that, which I really should have done the amount we talked about it, would have saved that uh, inspiring call which gave all my uh, creatures yeah. indestructible. <laughs> I just really needed the card draw to try and find some answers. <laughs> so I do get another angel because I did cast a enchantment. I've only got one with reach. 
if that helps. Well, I, my enchantment creatures have an NS, but you guys have enough blockers. What's your biggest toughness, Ella? Uh, I've got three... Uh, no, sorry, that's not online yet. Uh, there's three things that are five. Oh, wait, that is online now, actually, I think. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, sorry. eight. Yeah, sorry, it is online now. Uh, so I've got three things with five, <laughs> one thing with four. Ash. Yeah. <laughs> I'll swing at you with a four, four, five, five, and a five, seven menace. Seven menace. Um... My creatures have got minus two, minus two. Was that until the end of turn? Uh, yes. Okay. Sorry, these are vigilance. So I have a one, one, and a three, three effectively to block with. Um, they've got menace as well. So they've, got, they've all got menace. Yeah. Oh, in that case, I can. Yeah, what's the biggest one? The biggest one is a five, seven. Five, seven, and then what are the other two? Five, five, and four, four. And four, four. So if I block those, I take nine yep. and go down to two. Uh, and I'm going to do five damage right to that, so that doesn't die, but both mine die. I thought I could sneak in second place. <laughs> <laughs> Anything else? No, sir. <laughs> I've accepted my fate. <laughs> you know, you might, you're playing blue, you, you've got one blue mana <laughs> on tap, <laughs> <laughs> you never know. Okay, right, we will play it out, so I'll do that and let's do that. No, I don't have any artifacts. I don't think it matters anyway. No, it's a creature card, so I draw a card for a turn. Uh, cast a wolf run as my land. Uh, I'm going to go with, I need three planes, so one, two, three, and then five of any colour. Three, four, five, four. Uh, Waking Sun's avatar when it enters oh, the battlefield. You pass it on your hand, destroy all non dinosaur creatures. That will enter with haste. Um, at the beginning of your turn, another target creature you control, uh, uh, sorry, at the beginning of combat, um, another creature you control gains haste and gets plus exit to end of turn. So that's going to be a 14 14. Yeah. So foot, how did you got? Four, four. and you've got three left to go. So, that's a big two. Congrats. Congrats. There we go. Right, so there it is. Congratulations, Ella. Dinosaurs take the win for you. Even with uh, me and Fritch both having a misplay against you, which was, uh, <laughs> especially in my case, was actually quite big. So apologies for that and congrats for battling through persevering and winning anyway. Um, but yeah, I hope you had fun. We had a great time. Please like and subscribe. Comment down below what your favourite play was. Uh, we'll see you in the next video. Thank you both for joining Thank us. You. It's been fun. <laughs>